When you have money, you can do everything in North Korea. Except you cannot complain about Kim Jong. <laughs> yeah. Hello, my name is Ryan. I was born in Hamgyongbukdo, north northern side of uh, Korea Peninsula. I went to United States in 2018, and I. Returned from United States in the end of 2019. So total, I stay in United States 18 months. What was the reason? Because the United States, uh, you know, the diverse country, right? Have a lot of different background people that are living there. So as you know, uh, Korean and South, uh, we divide about in a two, almost 70 years. I think we have a lot of difference between North and South part. So I want to go to United States to learn how this diverse country can let these people to unite in one. So that's that could be my uh, like main reason uh, choosing United States. How was your life? Financial is uh, like broken, very poor, but my happiness is very high. What about your mindset? Uh, like first month in United States, it's like a honeymoon. So everything is very unique. Oh, look at the building. Oh, look at the trash can. You know. <laughs> oh, look at transportation. Like first month for me, like a honeymoon. Second to third month, it's like a hell. Oh my god, so expensive for you know living, housing. It's very stressful. And four and five, after four or five months, I'm start to used to it. I start adopt it, and I feel like this is the kind of, you know United States life is very very interesting. So I ate potatoes nine months every day. Definitely I cook, right? But potatoes. You know what? There's a behind scene of eating potatoes nine months. The reason why I ate the potato is the first one. Potato is the most cheap. <laughs> Cheap vegetable, I don't know, cheap things in United States. One bag of potatoes, like four dollars, I can eat that for almost a month, right? So what I did with the rest of the money, right? Because you know, in that time, I was dating a girl. She living in the west side. She living in the west side. I'm living in the east side, right, in DC. So in the Christmas, I have to go to meet her, right? So you know, United States most expensive ticket is around like Christmas, right? So I have to saving the money to dating her, right? I'm I'm not regard for that, but I I never try again eat potatoes to, to dating a girl, yeah, that's why. So that's one of the reasons I added potatoes. And second reason, definitely, you know, uh, it's unpaid interns. And also, I don't want to just borrow money from my mom, right? Because I'm old enough, right? So that's why, yeah. I heard one of your friends is living in the demolition site. If someone else who have a, really have a lot of money, you don't know it, like he have a lot of money, right? But a pants like more than two or three hundred dollars for me like oh my god man three hundred dollars it's my salary bro right and the guy showed me that oh four hundred dollars yeah it's very cheap yo i said like, really hey, first of all he's not looking the price but he wearing the stuff is like it's it's not like you know very fancy one he he's not wearing gucci you don't wear in louis vuitton but we when you're going to shopping when you're going eating he's he, he's not really care about the um the money he only care about why we eating, you know? The meaning of things, they don't mean, they don't care about money. That's, that's what I learned. And, and I went to the Beverly Hills. Um, it's huge. What is a different one is like, the car is like, oh my God, Ferrari, like, you know, Porsche, like all, all the cars on the, on the highway say. I still remember like when I was young uh, in North Korea, what I, my dream is I can have my own cars, but I, I got a new dreams, you know? I wish I can have you know Ferrari stuff, you know. <laughs> That's that that become my you know. Oh my God! When you have that money in a Korea, oh, I pretty much say you can do everything what you want. Like there's a lot of th people think like uh, North Korea is a communism, right? When you have money, you can do everything in North Korea, except. You cannot complain about Kim Jong. <laughs> yeah, be careful, your mouse. Except for that, you can do whatever you want to do. My friend who live in a, uh, you know Beverly Hills. What I think like he is uh, very humble. Is like what I think is that like, if a, if it's someone who very rich, I think they only love to eat something caviar. You know, 
eat some steak. But the guy, he love a Panda Express, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know Panda Express or not. He love a Panda Express and he love In and Out burgers, you know. Or if I'm a rich, I'm a rich guy, I'm not gonna eat In and Out. It doesn't mean like uh, you know In and Out is very bad or now, but I have a lot of money, right? I'm, I kind of more spend those you know fancy restaurant. I might be go fancy restaurant, but you know my friend, he love Panda Express. He he love In and Out. I went I went with him like a couple of times. Yeah, I think he is kind of a humble guy. Through the, my, my friend, what I learned is like, you know, he and me, we don't have that big difference. The only difference is he's kind of living in the Beverly Hills. He has a really nice car. I mean, that's it. And he has the same as me. He loves the in and out He, he loves the Panda Express. I think him and same. But through him, I got a new goal is that, you know, one day, I wish, I wish I can live in the Beverly Hills, you know, can, can ride a fancy car. But you know, in, in North Korea, I never, ever, ever can have that this kind of dream. Because you know, in North Korea, when you're born, what your father's, you know, you just have to follow your parents, you know. Like when your parents are doing like farmer, you have to beat up a farmer. So in North Korea, probably I don't have any goals. But when I meet the, you know, my friends and I went to the Beverly Hills, I wish I can become the one of them. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. So last but not least, if you like this video, Please subscribe and thumbs up and let the comment. Thank you. I'm Ryan.